Bulambuli District Health Officer Dr. Mohamed Mulondo is in police custody for constructing a district hospital pit latrine without a hall at 30 million Ugandan shillings and renovating a hospital with mud and iron sheets at a tune of 70 million Ugandan shillings. Minister of State for Economic Monitoring in the office of the President, Peter Ogwang, ordered for the arrest of the officer after discovering some lucanas in the ongoing government projects in the district. Now these are the details. Police in the Bulamboli district have arrested the district health officer, Dr. Muhammad Malondo, for causing government a loss of 100 million shillings after he constructed a district hospital, Pete Latrine, without a hole at 30 million shillings and renovating a hospital with mud and old iron sheets at a tune of 70 million. How can you do renovation with old iron sheets at 70 million? Building a bedroom for the age of Lamboli, how do you spend 70 million? And using mud, and if you plaster very well, you know they are too plastic. Hmm? They, made, they said we have put 30 million in the toilet. We have inspected the toilet, it is not there. They have, they have built bricks around to show that there is a toilet, but to go there there is no hole. It is reported that district health officer personally carried out all these projects without approval of the district council and hospital health committee. At the end of the 2016 financial year, UNICEF gave us 70 million shillings towards UNICEF activity, activities. But what he did within two days, the end of the financial year, he accounted for the same money. I had already spent it within two days without the approval of council. And it, it was very clear that any additional funds must go through the supplementary budget, which was not done. So he's this money as, 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 as an individual. Politicians believe that abuse of public funds by the technical team at the district level is one of the key factors why NRM government is not scoring highly in Ibugisu. I've said it's quite a number of issues that we have seen and they are so perturbing. Petrolatory in costing 30 million shillings and you say it's completed when it doesn't even have a single door. Does it make sense to an ordinary Ugandan? That's why you say at the end of the day when we come for votes people complain and blame NRM party as having not worked. And yet we have already started, we are given the mandate on 12 of May of 2021. We have a mandate of five years to prove to Ugandans that NRM is still strong. But how shall we prove to Ugandans that NRM is still strong when the people interested with the resources on behalf of Ugandans are not doing the right job? Those who try to fight against the misuse of public funds, however, are being threatened by the technical people. Yeah, my life is in danger. I've told you that when the Honorable Minister Guang, I've told my supervisors, I've told the RISO, but I'll not, uh, I'd rather die a clean man than dying a dirty man. I'll die in a job. Minister of State for Economic Monitoring in the office of the President, Peter Ogwang, warns public servants against playing with taxpayers' money if they still love their jobs. If you've been playing around, your days are numbered. And today, when we find you capable, just prepare that you will not remain in the service. I can guarantee you. Yes, I can guarantee you. You see those officers, you think they're here to do nothing. Stand up and find it. They're here. You think they're here to do nothing. You've been playing with the districts, districts. Here we are. And on top of that, we have prosecutors also in the same team. We have engineers in the same team. We have auditors in the same team. Where are you going? Mutoni Helder and Joseph Oko, UBC.